Hi everyone, JRM Belgium here. I'm here with you today because I want to show you how easy it can be to copy and paste plain text into a game, either to um, give an input to a certain console, um, because otherwise you will have to type the command every time, or maybe you just want to share a message in the game chat and something you have to type many times a day or many times a week and you don't have to type it every time. This can be a very useful tool. Um, I specifically made this video for uh, admins of uh, our clan, the Alliance Multi Gaming Clan, because um, Battlefield 1 is a game that doesn't allow you to set up server rules um, in the loading screen or you can't show the server rules in a welcome screen. So basically you constantly have to inform all the players about what the rules are. For example, we only accept the English language. Uh, on our server so we uh, you know, on a regular basis have to uh, say in chat English only please please follow the server rules and then we redirect them to our website now in order to avoid manually typing that every single time I found a little lightweight program and it's really lightweight in order to make your life a little bit easier um, this program takes about of three megabytes of hard drive space on your PC, so that's nothing and in terms of RAM it can use up to maybe five megabytes of RAM in the worst case but I've seen it only using two or three megabytes uh, sometimes so it's really lightweight you don't have to worry about it uh, conflicting with other software or you don't have to worry about it slowing down your PC if your PC can't handle a three to five megabyte program then well then it's time to upgrade so what I'm gonna do here, for example, um, what I need to do quite often is kick hyping players from our servers. Uh, because, for example, Battlefield 1 doesn't allow you to set a ping limit. Some games do, but Battlefield 1 doesn't. And this basically forces us to, on a regular basis, kick players with a very high ping. People that are playing in China or another part of the world with a bad connection. Um, and in order to avoid having to type this every time, kicked for 250 plus ping, I made a, a macro for it basically and this program makes it very easy to do so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete these macros I'm gonna just build them from scratch again so I'm gonna remove this yes and this as well and I'm gonna start scratch so this is the window as you see it I think by default the program already has a few examples set up so that you have an idea of what the possibilities are because you can also launch a per certain program with it you can display a certain website with it you can write text that's what we're gonna use uh, you can also launch Windows apps or basically any other program which is installed in your computer um, what we're gonna do today is write text because um, Battlefield 1 doesn't really allow a macro software to engage with the game. Uh, for example, I have tried it uh, to do it with my macro settings on my Logitech keyboard, which has macro software built in. But apparently the game doesn't allow you to press a key, paste text and then press enter. I think it's a, a safety measure, you know, for cheats. Uh, probably a hacker can can work his way around it but I honestly don't know how uh, but this basically does enough this basically copies text into the game wherever you want um, and that's easy enough um, so we're gonna show you how it works I'm gonna click here write text and I'm gonna create a shortcut so a simple key command for example shift and equals um, and if I'm gonna add conditions no I'm not gonna add any conditions I put OK I'm gonna write a text um, and I'm gonna write kicked for 250 plus ping. There you go. Also important, what you can configure here is the program in which the key bind works. For example, I only need this key bind in Battlefield 1, so I'm gonna add the Battlefield 1 executable. There you go. So this way it only works in Battlefield 1. Um, let's see what other setting. Yeah, for example, the description could be useful so that you, you know, when you have lots of macros that you can easily see um, what a certain macro is for, even if the content itself isn't obvious enough. A uh, setting that I also recommend is just launch Clavier Plus at Windows Startup, so that way you don't need to remind yourself of, um, of starting it up every time before you launch your game. And um, what also useful in this software is it's available in many languages. Um, it's even yeah, it's even available in mine, Dutch. So it's if you if you're not very handy in English, you can just set it to your yeah your 
language of reference. So that's it basically. I've set up a key command that does when I press shift plus equals that it uh, paste the text kicked for 250 plus ping. I'm actually going to add a space to this. That's better. Okay. So just to test it, I'm going to open notepad. And I'm going to try the command. And it's still working. So I'm going to see what went wrong. Because I did set a condition. All pro oh, so here you soon. That's good that I made a mistake because you might make it as well. So I have to select only those programs and not all programs but. So very important, only those programs. I'm going to press OK. Let's see if it works still. Ah, voila. Now it's no longer working. So now I'm going to launch the game in which I want to use the command. For example, I'm going to open the console now. Let's say that you want to add certain commands in, in your game in a console. You can also already use it here. For example, you see it. Yeah, Discord. That's nice of you, but go away. Yeah, okay. You see, I've pasted it here in the console. So you can use it for many different things. I use it for chat, but you can also use it for console commands that you have to use on a regular basis. Um, I'm going to just join an empty server. Uh, like this one here. No, let's go to a, a U server with nobody in it. Oh, all slots available. There you go. Die server. I highly recommend that you avoid die servers in this game because they're filled with cheaters. Just join a clan server like Alliance Multi Gaming, for example. And I'm going to join this server. So here we are in game. I'm just gonna start the game. I don't even have to join the game, especially. I'm just, you know, I'm, I can still, or I can already chat when I'm uh, in the game. So here, for example, let's say I'm a server admin and I have players on the scoreboard. And oh, JRM Belgium Twitch, his ping is 300. So sorry, that's too high to play here. People are gonna complain about that. He's gonna rubber band. So what I'm gonna do is JRM Belgium Twitch. Of course, I'm going to kick him first, and then I write GRM Belgium Twitch, and then I'm going to use my command, kicked for 250 plus ping, and that's something I don't need to type manually anymore. But you can put full sentences in it. For example, if you want to recruit for your clan, you can just do it like this. AMG is recruiting, go to amgclan.site for more info. Or you have an English-only rule different command English in main chat please read rules.amgclan.site or let's see what we other have we we are, for example also provide a service where people can report cheaters there we go another command and we also have a rule that people can't play with a certain vehicle uh, some people consider it to be a useless vehicle and our clan has decided that um, it's banned so in this case I can share this rule no more the trucks allowed go to rules.amgclan.site. So it can be very useful for admins where a game itself doesn't allow you, doesn't have any options uh, to share certain rules. Or maybe you want to advertise something, your own website or your Twitch stream, but please don't use this to spam because as you can see, it's very easy to do so, very easy to set up. Don't use it for spamming. Um, I'm gonna warn you right now, if you do it on AMG uh, server, you're gonna get kicked or banned, so... And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same in every uh, server run by uh, admins. Okay, that's it basically. I hope you found it very useful, this tool, and um, that you might find uses for it in many other games or, or other softwares you might use. And, and even if you're a programmer, maybe uh, it's very easy for you to write certain parts of code into one macro key and then just reuse it as much as you want if the software itself doesn't allow it. Lots of possibilities. That was it for this video. As you can see and, and hear probably this video wasn't scripted. I hope you guys liked it. If you do, please subscribe um, and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Have a nice day and I'll see you on the battlefield.